Well, good evening, guys. I hope you're doing well. My name's Mikey, and let's check out the upcoming Mission Impossible trailer. Yo, let's go! Yo, we live on Twitch. That is how you make a teaser trailer, all right? That is how you... Oh, I'm so up for that. I uh, really uh, enjoy the Mission Impossible franchise. I actually think they're banging good films. Really good entertainment. That felt less like a trailer um, that's like edited by a Trailer House team. That felt more like a fan music video where they just edited shots. But having that without any diegetic sound, so it's just the soundtrack, now, some of the later Mission Impossible soundtracks were done by the composer, is it Lorne Bolf? Am I saying his name correctly? Um, and I actually really, really like them. This sounds like more of that great energy. Let's have a look through this. Guys, are you looking forward to this? This looks really good. Yeah, Reiku. Manim's liking it. Valvenge is in there. Lixons. Scooby, Todge. Salutations. Yo, TTV, we're just checking. Okay, number one. Okay, so uh, a lot of this is reminding me of a lot of other films. I don't know if you guys are getting that vibe. Uh, this is brilliant. This is uh, this is London. <laughs> this is what London is right now. I think that's Rome. Okay. Uh, so this reminds me of the last uh, James Bond Spectre, where he's he's got the Aston and he pushes this little car up a hill when he's being chased. This reminds me of an earlier Mission Impossible movie where they went to another rave that was lit quite similarly in a similar environment. This just looks like the kind of clubbing life that I want to get back into. This reminds me of the area when they filmed uh, the last James Bond movie. Uh, what was the last one? No Time to Die? The Big Apology? Everyone's Sad? Your days of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. The greater good. Do you guys recognize my boy? Uh, so this guy is, uh, he's the chief section officer for the CIA in Langley in the first movie, right back in Mission Impossible 1. Do you remember this guy? And the other guy spots the knife and he's just like, Ship I want him shipped off to Antarctica by the end of the day. And he's like, FedEx him his clothes. <laughs> what about him? And his, uh, his number two, was another guy with grey hair who was an actor in the original Mission Impossible TV show. So bringing this boy back? I'm down. For some reason, you remind me of Max uh, Ga Gassy Mexican. 
That's his Twitch name. I promise I'm not being racist. Oh yeah, no worries. I'm a little bit brown. I'm a little bit Brazilian. So I'm bigging up all Brazil and Portuguese. But I take, I accept any Latin country. I'll do with Mexican. It's fine. Uh, thank God they didn't add an Inception sound. Absolutely. I'm so glad they're keeping to that Mission Impossible energy. God. Landan. Oi, right, Landan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the clubbing life. Not the triple X clubbing life. Let's not talk about triple X. I'm enjoying my time right now. Do you, do you reckon he's gone rogue? This is our chance. Excuse me, I patch, I patch Rebe Rebecca Ferguson. Whenever I say who's that lady I like, it's Rebecca Ferguson. I patch Rebecca Ferguson is going to be my new fantasy. To control the truth. The I love her so much. Of this guy is in Ozark season one. He's the representative of the second largest cartel in Mexico. Um who's constantly chasing up the family for results. And then obviously uh, he, uh, he gets a little bit mouthy in some racist house. Spoiler alert. What's this guy's name? He's brutal. Yeah, he's great. Right and wrong. That's Tom Cruise's wife, right? From everyone for centuries. Uh, don't know her. To come. Who's that guy? He must be new. You're fighting to save an idea. God, sorry. I think this might be affecting what we're doing. This is Metal Gear Solid Rebecca Ferguson, and I'm sorry. Let me just screenshot that for my own personal use. Sorry to stop this little uh, trailer reaction, but I'm just gonna give get that for some Mikey time. That's for me. That's my gift to myself. <laughs> for later. Okay, good, good, good. Let's close that. Ideal that doesn't exist. Sniper Wolf. I know, Kid Luton's, hey man, ugly weeb, hi. Need to pick a side. Esai Morales, that's his name. Yeah, he's great. So there is a great bit. So, Mission Impossible movies, they go a little bit like this. Mission Impossible 1 was a clever one where you had to pay attention and think. And there's a bit where Ethan's sitting in a restaurant opposite this guy. And... Ethan's slowly clocking that there's been a second Mission Impossible team on site the entire time. I think they're in Prague, maybe, in the first one. And he's like, do you remember he's got that giant fish tank and he has to make the explosive gum? Mate, I, we are cramming Mission Impossible. I'm so keen for just a really entertaining action film. And I kind of know that this stuff delivers now. Who's directing this? Yeah, I need to rewatch him as well. I'm looking forward to it. It's that minor key. Ba 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 ba, and that they're slowly tuning it into the Mission Impossible um, riff. That's what I love. I love all that dramatic stuff, but then it slowly coalesces into something familiar. It's just like um, the Batman and Robin. Uh, is it Michael Gacchino? Gacchiano? Who who does that? Um, Batman and Robin score where it's all over the place and then it coalesces at the end and it's amazing despite the film that's such a cool visual so guys I need to get some new glasses soon that's a look right there that is a that is a look oh it, what's this called? Is this... Uh, is this Diwali? Is that what it's called? Next year... Everything you've ever known... Every character you've ever loved... Finally, in one place... Running! <laughs> Kicking! Bang bang! Slide slide! Drown, drown, drizzle, walk, duck, duck, kapow. Oh, by the way, have you seen the behind the scenes for this? You know, Tom Cruise is a big like, basically every Tom Cruise Mission Impossible movie is I'm a millionaire old man who wants to go on an action holiday. 
And if I happen to film a movie whilst I'm doing my action holiday, it's a tax write-off. So uh, obviously he likes to do his own stunts. So I saw the behind the scenes. Uh, Tom Cruise uh, is this train. He dressed up as this train. That's, uh, that's actually Tom right there. It was incredible. It was incredible. He really got into it. He took on the role of a steam locomotive. You can't even tell. And that is a nod, obviously, to Goldeneye. That is fantastic. I'm lo this. There's a lot of nods to other action movies in this. Pierce Bosnan, Fierce Pierce in the beginning of Goldeneye. One of the best Bond intros. Now, the only thing, the only criticism is that Dead Reckoning as a Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning. That is a title that sounds like it belongs to Pirates of the Caribbean. Do you know what I mean? Pirates of the Caribbean 7, Dead Reckoning. Okay, guys, what do you think? I'm really up for this. I haven't been up for a movie since Batman. I'm up for this. <clears throat> Don't call them Nazi glasses on stream. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Do you know what? I have to beat that out as well now before I upload it to YouTube. Because <laughs> they won't share the video. Yo, Travelling Reeb, I hope life is uh, giving you a good time. Uh, it's a fart bomb. That's probably... It probably was, like a gas thing. Uh, bubble cars are the coolest things ever. They're the ones that open the door from the front, right? We've got running Tom Cruise. We've got a Hog Hogwarts train. His tax write-off is much better than yours. My tax is better than yours. Your tax can't even open doors. My tax is six pages long. Your tax is a tiny little dong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. Tom Cruise can out-tax write-off me. Tom Cruise for train engine. <laughs> yeah, 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 Valve Eng. Get yourself a can of Coke. I like that one. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, oh, where's my... um? Oh, God. I, here we go. That took too long. Ethan Hawke is nothing on Bond. Remember when Bond drove a shitty BMW Z3? Hey, Kid Ludens, that was the Pierce Brosnan era. They were licensed with BMW. They were contracted for Beamers. So what they did is they made sure they tried to show shots of James Bond driving an Aston Martin in his own time or other characters with an Aston because all the main Bond stuff had to be the Beamer. Yeah, yeah, that was not a good look, by the way. James Bond in the BMW did not sit right. Uh, so you're going to go to the cinema for this one? And yeah, I think I might, mate. I think this might be that kind of big cinema experience that you need. Anyway, come on, someone's got to keep Tom Cruise afloat. God, he really never recovered once Universal cut his contract, did he? Poor Tom Cruise. Uh, the badge lifted up to reveal a saw blade. Ah... <sighs> Don't let her boss you around, they say. There was a cut scene when they got that car out in a Pierce Brosnan Bond where there's an actual Jaguar in a cage. And it was, it was supposed to be a riff on, you know. Yeah, anyway, don't worry about it. Uh, let's go. Your math teacher had a bubble car. Okay, so we're all fans of bubble cars. I hope we also all enjoyed the Mission Impossible trailer. Those are my initial thoughts and reactions to the teaser. It's done its job perfectly. It looks like it's more of everything we love. There's a sense of finality to it. Um, but I'm going to bang this one out in the cinema for sure. Guys, thank you very much for watching along. Click like, click subscribe, hang out, join us live on Twitch, whatever floats your boat. But otherwise, take care.